In the previous video, we saw, uh, we saw how you can use tape to test your JavaScript code. And as you can notice, the output of this is in TAP format, T-A-P, test uh, anything protocol, I think. So this uh, output is very simple to format. You can use different formatters uh, to format this. My favorite ones are TAP spec and TAP simple. So let's install those, and I want to show you how you can use that to format this output uh, nicer. So I'm going back to terminal. And in the terminal, I can do npm install tap for tap uh, spec. And I'm also I'm going to install tap simple. I'm going to install them as dev dependencies. And once that's done, I can run my uh, test and then pass the output to one of these. I prefer to use tap spec for reporting and tap simple when I am watching my files as I work. Uh, so uh, let me show you how it looks like. So with tab spec, uh, it looks like this. So first you can run uh, the test and then you pipe it to uh, the the command. So in this case, it is in node modules bin slash tab uh, spec. So when you do that, it uh, formats it nicely so that you can see it. And if you don't want to keep on referencing bin in node modules, you can create a symbolic link with ln s. Uh, the first parameter is the destination, and this first one, the second one is source. So we want to point uh, bin to that folder. So I can say uh, node modules bin. So then I can just uh, do main, and then just do bin slash tap uh, spec. And I can also do simple, tap simple. Uh, simple is nice because it would only show the ones that are failing, and it's great when you're watching your files. So let me show you how you can watch your files as uh, you're working. So you can use uh, node daemon, uh, npmi, node, node mon, or whatever you want to call it. And this will watch your files as you work. And then you can just pass that, pass that, um, and it will just work. Uh, so let me show you how it looks like. Give it a second for it to show up. So what we're going to do, we're going to just use uh, node mon to run the script, and it will basically watch the files. OK, it took it a while to install. Uh, so now that I have node-mun installed, I can do node-mun, and then pass it main, and then pipe that to bin slash tap uh, simple. And that should watch my files. So if I go back here and then make my test break, this will tell you where it exactly broke. So then I could potentially put them side by side and work and watch the watch the test. Now, in addition to Nodemon, you can use tape to run your tests. You can give it a glob, you can give it a pattern and say, run all these um, files that ends with that file, file name. So you can do something like, let's say we had all our stuff in the test folder, right? So I'm going to move uh, this test to that folder. I'm going to move main. I'm going to rename it to something else. Um, so I'm going to rename rename it to, um, let's say, add.test.js. So what do we have here? We have add, and we have the test. So let's go and update our test. We have the test here, and we need to reference the previous folder. OK, so let's say you had a bunch of files in your test folder. Right now, we just have one. But let's say you just wanted to tell tape, hey, uh, go look at all the files in test that ends with test.js. You can do that. So we can do with tape. And then you can say, go look at all the files in test slash and all the subdirectories that ends with test.js. When you do that, it will just look for those. So you can use Nodemon to watch this for you. Uh, and this is you. This is how you do it. Nodemon dash x, and you pass this as a string. So when you do that, it will watch your files and it will run the test as you change anything. So this is the second one to pass, um, and then obviously you can pass this to bin slash tab simple and it will show you the ones that are failing. So in this case, you can change this to two and it will uh, fail. 
And if I change it back to three, it will pass. So this is great for TDD. Okay, so you can use obviously uh, package scripts to make this easier. Uh, so you don't have to remember all these and you can create aliases for them. So let me copy this. This is for, let's say this is for our TDD mode. I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to create a package.json file. So you can just do that by npm.init, sorry, npm init, and just accept all the defaults here. And if you go back here, we have a pack, it created a package.json for us and it doesn't, doesn't know that these are dev dependencies, so I'm just going to get rid of those. And in the test, uh, in the script section, we can add some aliases so that we can just easily run our uh, commands. So I can create a one entry for TDD, and this is the one that we're going to use for uh, watching. So with Nodema, we're going to watch our uh, test files and pass it through tab simple. So I have to just escape these, so let me just escape these two. That's good. And for test, we're going to run similar command, except we don't need to watch it. And we're going to pass it through tab um, spec. So we're going to do bin tape, look at all the test files and all the subdirectories in test that ends with test.js and pass it through bin slash tab spec. So now, if you go back here, and if I do npm test, it will run the first one, which is this one. And if I do npm run tdd, it's going to watch my files, and it's going to use tab simple to output any errors.